the ear engineering mathematics is uh, going to have the less portion compared to this engineering mathematics and discrete mathematics is there here but it is not here and c programming is not is there but it is there python programming here you know general aptitude same 15 marks and the remaining most of them will have the similar weightage engineering mathematics you have less weightage in git but discrete mathematics you have more weightage concepts are there in both of them but here the questions may be asked using either algorithm or using uh, the python in data science but when it comes to ocs they may ask using c programming or using algorithmic concept uh, the overlook of the rcs and da hi welcome to the session and in this session you have the differences between computer science and data science as well as artificial intelligence differences when it comes to the gate exam these two are the pioneers and these two have the opportunities to grab the good placements and good research and uh, you have a lot of scope in iits as well as in your career aspect or job oriented now let's uh, have uh, the overlook of the rcs and da the cse is uh, basically half the subjects in uh, which are having c programming data structures algorithms dbms operating system toc compiler digital logic discrete mathematics includes engineering mathematics general aptitude and computer organization as well as the compute networks and it's a more or more or less related to the system related and core concepts of computer science so these are going to help you for cracking the computer science exam and when it comes to gate da is uh, more related to the maths and uh, data science ai uh, machine learning concepts if you look at the subjects probability and statistics linear algebra and calculus and optimization and which gives you uh, nearly 40 marks weightage uh, in this first three of mathematical topics and then python ds and algo which also have uh, the good amount of the weightage uh, in the gate exam if you cover up to the python ds and algorithm you will be having 50 to 60 marks of more than 50 marks weightage up to here and then dbms and warehousing machine learning ai uh, very few questions will be asked but they are also having 20 to 30 marks weightage in exam along with this you have the uh, aptitude which will you know have the 15 marks in your exam so here you see the difference between these two and a general aptitude is common to both because it's not mentioned here but general aptitude is common to both and uh, the year engineering mathematics is are going to have the less portion compared to this engineering mathematics and discrete mathematics is there here but it is not here and c programming is not is there but it is there python programming here in both of them data structures is there but here c using a data structure using c here data structure using python and algorithms there in both and uh, uh, dbms is there in both but here extra additionally data warehousing and operating system is there in cs but not in da and computer organization is there in cs but not in da and theory of competition compiler is there in cs but not in da and if you look at a uh, computer networks it's also there in cs it's not there in da so if you uh, look at the common things also we'll be having clear similarities of uh, for both cs and da you can uh, look at the algorithms it's there in both like searching sorting algorithms and the design strategy divide and conquer graph algorithms these concepts are there in both of them and linear algebra is also it's not complete portion but it's the most of the portion is there in both of them uh, like uh, vectors and matrices matrix operations types of matrices again value eigen vectors finding a decomposition system of linear equations probability and statistics you know uh, not complete portion of ds is there in cs but you have the limited portion of ds is there in cs so when you are preparing for both ds and uh, da and cs and if you are preparing for uh, data science then uh, you get uh, the maximum coverage of cs for especially linear algebra and probability probability you'll have random variables normal uniform exponential poison binomial distribution and uh, all of them will be there in uh, both in uh, data science and computer science but in data science you have more syllabus in probability and statistics calculus you have limited syllabus in cs and uh, this is syllabus in cs and which is also there in data science limits continuity differentiation integration and maxima minima data structures is you know mostly it is the same like array strings uh, link list stacks queues trees heaps hashing concepts are there in both of them but here the questions may be asked using either algorithm or using uh, the python in data science but when it comes to cs they may ask using c programming or using algorithmic concept and dbms it's common in both uh, 
relation of model, year models, SQL normalization, functional dependencies, file organization indexing. It's there in both uh, CS and as well as DM. So this portion is going to give you weightage in both of them. And uh, it saves a lot of time when you are preparing both. This topics, no need to prepare it again and again, so which is covered in both. And what difference you need to understand when you are looking at the CS, you are going to focus on the core computer science uh, fundamentals. Like you need to look at architecture or system related information, like TOC compiler, operating system, computer organization, computer and even uh, networks. Right. So these things will help you to do uh, the core concepts of computer science understanding. And when it's get DA, it's all about maths, uh, understanding the uh, you know testing your knowledge in mathematics machine learning ai skills which requires the knowledge of machine learning ai warehousing probability studies and python so these things will help you to do uh, the focus on mathematical testing and then ai ml finally you must know aware of this weightages because those people who prepare for both computer science and uh, data science you should look at how you need to focus on and in uh, gate da you if you look at you just look at the last marks uh, up to you will have 15 marks is there for every engineering paper in gate that's okay 15 marks you can ignore remaining you look at 16 plus 10 plus 8 which is approximately that every year uh, may or may not have the same but approximately uh, that you have uh, nearly uh, 34 so 35 marks you will see only in the first uh, the three mathematical topics correct this weightage is huge that's why mathematically you can say 35 average you may have the in uh, in exam and you see 21 marks for the programming data set algorithms it's really good even in computer science also you will be having nearest to this like uh, 16 to 20 marks only for these three subjects so these three subjects you study programming and data set algorithms and uh, most of the things you have done right 20 marks you have covered so 20 plus 35 55 marks is covered only in this as i said in the beginning and remaining you know database you will have eight marks and ai ml almost you have 10 to 11 marks so this creates an history for you uh, to prepare for gate exam for data science and if you want uh, the computer science then definitely you know general aptitude same 15 marks and remaining most of them will have the similar weightage engineering mathematics you have less weightage in gate but discrete mathematics you have more weightage so to combine you will have 14 to 15 marks dbms 7 to 10 algorithm also mostly 7 to 10 or 6 to 10 c and ds uh, together you will have more weightage uh, like 10 to 10 or 11 12 marks Operating system 7 to 10 or 8, uh, sometimes 9. Combined networks, same 7 to 10 or you know 9, 10, 11, somewhere it happens. Almost they are near. See 6 to 12, uh, this is 7 to 12, again 7 to 10. And compiler is having less weightage in gate uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 happens somewhere. This logic is also same 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's what you know. In this, just you can understand the uh, engineering mathematics and compiler, digital have you know, less weightage compared to other subjects remaining all subjects have the importance in uh, weightage remember that okay so don't uh, look at this variation variation and it's not always same it could change even it, they could ask more marks they could ask less marks depends on how do they set the paper okay and uh, let me explain that you know get cs and da uh, you will get more advantage when you practice two questions and we have a test series like get for 2026 and of course every year we have this test series and we have the very good test series here like you have the mock test you have the topic wise test you have the subject wise you have the mixed subject wise full length and then you have the p by q's to practice too similarly even computer science also you have the similar and in both of them the one of the good advantages like you have the video solutions in both the uh, uh, cs and da and individually the price will be triple nine for cs triple nine for da and each question you will have a video solution so we can reduce the uh, mistakes in actual the question that you see in the test so that's the reason we have the you know uh, expert curated questions all the faculties have put up their time to you know uh, make the create the questions so you will find very uh, good questions which are similar to the git and you uh, can re rely on this test series uh, if you are going to perform well in this test series definitely you will get more advantage in the actual exam thank you so much uh, for uh, watching this session or uh, watching this video and we have the experts who can teach you for computer science and data science and in case if you have any doubts you can approach us anytime we will help you and till then thank you so much uh, see you bye bye